trapped outside. I would like to get in my house. Please open the garage door. Okay, opening the garage door. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my Cortana MQTT integration. Hey Cortana, please open the garage door. Sure thing, opening the garage door. This is the uh, MQTT test client in the back. Hey Cortana, please close the garage door. Closing the garage door. So there's a little white box up there. That's got the uh, my garage door controller. There's another video for that. Please ring the doorbell. Sure thing. Okay. What? Please ring the dinner bell. Okay. Okay, so here in the kitchen, one of the applications is our kids never hear us. We can scream at the top of our lungs and they won't come down to eat. So, hey Cortana, please ring the dinner bell. So, test client. I also have just the bells. So you could do something custom if you wanted to. And also one of the cool things is she'll, she'll, you can customize what she says to you. So, hey Cortana, hey Cortana, please ring the doorbell. Okay, knock, knock. Okay, so to download the code, go to my GitHub. Um, the link is shared in the video description. So we're gonna go ahead and clone or download. Once you get it, extract it, and you're going to need Visual Studio 2015 Express or better. Go ahead and open that solution. Okay, so there's several different pieces to this. Um, they're all pretty simple. So there's a main page.xaml. Um, So the main page.xaml is the visual page that, that launches whenever you open the, the program. I have some buttons on here as examples. So the code behind this page, and this is all um, definitely optional, right? You don't have to have buttons, but um, it's just an, another example of how you can do this. So the uh, code behind it is this mage page.xaml.cs C sharp so there's just button clicks so if we go back up here this ring doorbell when you click on this I can double click it and it takes me to this so when you click that button all it does is it executes a method and I'll show you this method that is very tiny so it executes the method and it sends it three things. It says 
what MQTT topic are we publishing to, what do we publish, and this third thing is do we close the program after it does it. So the buttons on the screen when you publish, you don't want it to just close the program. So these are all false. So there's four examples here. The magic happens up in um, app.xaml and this C sharp. Here's the method. It's very simple. You go ahead and it takes the topic message and do we close it? Um, if close is true, it will exit after it uh, sends the message. But right here it connects. And you can see I'm connecting to iot.eclipse.org. It's a public test uh, server. Um, in this example, we're not using a user and password. We're just connecting. But you can see here that if we put a comma here, IntelliSense says we could also add the username and password. So you can see up in this commented outline, we've got the, this GUID right here is just, um, it's generating a unique ID for us when we connect, because we want this to always be unique. If you just put something static here and then you deployed it on two devices, they, they couldn't really connect at the same time. It wouldn't work out. So then you can put a user and password. So anyway. Okay, so we fixed that thing back up, so it's good. So now if we call it from Cortana, um, this app.xaml, it knows that there's a little difference. Um, when the application is invoked by Cortana or normally launched. So when you double click it, you're gonna come up with this main page, but when Cortana launches it, it's a little different. So anyway, um, let's look at this Cortana commands. So this is a voice command, command set, and basically you just add whatever you want in here. These are some examples. Um, I forget which sample I found this on, but um, so here's the main ones we use. Um, the command name is open garage door and here's an example and then here's what she listens for. She listens for open the garage door and then here's what she says. She says okay opening the garage door. So if she senses this she'll execute this command right here called open underscore garage underscore door which is back in this app.xaml. So open underscore garage underscore door just once again executes this command, this method down here. It's gonna publish to this topic. This is what it's gonna say. And it's gonna, this is true, so it's actually gonna just close the program right after it, it launches. So you really don't have to do anything to this. It's all ready to go as a test. So we we'll go ahead and hit that button to debug it. I suggest you get a uh, MQTT test client like MQTT.fx. And we'll go ahead and uh, test this thing here. So my test client, while this is building I'm going to connect to iot.eclipse.org. This is that uh, open MQTT server. You could also just install one on your local host. And then this is what I'm going to subscribe to, Cortana. This is a wildcard, so it's going to give me everything Cortana slash. So I'm subscribed here. Now all I got to do is click ring the, do ring the doorbell and you can see that this went through. Now that we have debugged that project one time, it actually went and installed that Windows Universal app. So if we go into the start menu, we go down, we can see that Cortana commands has been installed. You can actually go ahead and just run it. And let's go ahead and test it here. I'm gonna ring the doorbell. You can see that 
MQTT command shows up over here in my test client. Um, I'm going to click uh, close the garage door. It takes a second because it's actually disconnected and reconnecting. So it's not, like I said, it's not optimized for quickly uh, sending those. So now we can also just say, hey Cortana, please ring the dinner bell. Okay, let's eat. There it goes. Hey Cortana. Hey Cortana. Please close the garage door. Sure, closing the garage door. There it goes. Oh man, I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, please build some cool stuff and uh, share it with me. So, um, good luck. Have fun.